There's one neighborhood in Central Florida that offers a ton of great options if you're looking to do either a short-term rental or you're looking for something maybe just close to the parks as a second home, and that's Reunion Resort. Today, I'm going to take you through on who should buy here in Reunion. We're going to talk to you about different places that you could purchase and what size and price and all that good stuff. And at the end, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about things you must know before you buy here. So before we get into the neighborhood and everything that it has to offer, who should really think about buying a home here? I get a lot of people that reach out because they want to live in celebration, but they also want to rent out their house when they're not here. They want the close proximity to Disney, but again, they want to rent out when they're not here. So you can't do that in Winter Garden and Celebration and Lake Nona and all the other places that are really popular around here. And so the next best thing is finding a resort neighborhood that you can actually rent out while you're not here. Or maybe you just want the amenities of the neighborhood, and that's exactly what Reunion Resort has to offer. So why would you choose Reunion Resort over so many of the other neighborhoods here in Central Florida? Three different golf courses of so 72, is it 72? What's uh, 18 times three? Do, 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 do. What is it, dude? Leave that out, bro. He's we a real just, estate agent, he's gotta know math. I know, I, <laughs> tell me, ask me 3% of any number. I can tell you what it is. <laughs> All right, can we restart? Yeah, let's restart. So why would you choose Reunion Resort over some of the other short-term rental neighborhoods here in Central Florida? I mean, there's literally dozens of options. Well, Reunion Resort has a ton to offer. They've got 10 different pools, they've got water parks, there's three different golf courses, there's different restaurants and a spa. There's just a lot of cool things. It's gated, which is fantastic for just keeping people in and out of the neighborhood. They've got man gates 24 hours a day. And so there's a lot of things to offer in terms of a lifestyle here at Reunion, whether you're looking to have this as a short-term rental, a second home or your full-time residence. All right, so there's essentially four or five different products inside Reunion. And when I say products, like there's the villas and townhouses all the way up to the mega mansion, 13 bedroom houses, which we'll show you last. But we're gonna start out here today at Heritage Crossing. There's basically buildings A through J all the way around us here. And you got like two bedroom, three bedroom, 12, 13, 1400 square foot condos right on the golf course. There's a lot of really cool options here. So if you're budget conscious, this would be a great place to start off your search in Reunion. So these are the villas. These properties are right by the water park. It's a great location in the neighborhood. They've got three and four bedrooms. They're all on one level. A lot of them will either back to like conservation, the golf course, a lot of really cool things. So a little bit more about the villas is it's actually just four condos on each level. They do have an elevator. I know a lot of that's important to you. So if you're not on the main level, how do you get up to the top? It's not just stairs, but a lot of these have four levels and four each. And so the cool thing is if you want an end unit, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but you're gonna have amazing window views on both sides. And and if you're a little bit more budget conscious, then you would look on the interior units. All right, so the next step up, if you're looking for a little bit more privacy away from the condo and the villas would be some of these houses like the ones behind me. The one thing I do love about Reunion is that it's really not a cookie cutter neighborhood at all. You've got sort of the Key West inspired houses. You've got some of the tan boxes that we see a lot of in here in Central Florida and everything in between before you start moving up to our next style, which would be more of the luxury estates. So if you're looking for a little bit more privacy and maybe a few more bedrooms, because a lot of these guys go from four, five and six bedrooms here in the mid-size houses.
All right, some of our last real estate that we're going to talk about here in Reunion is more of the estate size houses like you have behind me. Right here, we're in the Bears Den, which is actually a separate gated section inside Reunion. And you also have some of the 12, 13, 14 bedroom houses on the golf courses all the way around. And these things are insane. They've got themed rooms, game rooms. They've converted the garage into like arcades. Actually, make sure you drop in some of the footage of the house that we did before uh, in this neighborhood. It's insane what they're doing to draw in Airbnb people come from all around the world. It's pretty incredible. And so whether you're looking for a smaller starter condo or a massive estate, Reunion has something for you. All right, so what are some things that you need to know if you're looking to buy a house here in Reunion? Well, the biggest one is the HOA fees, but then also how the social memberships and the golf memberships play into your HOA fees and the costs associated. Are you confused yet? So let's talk a little bit about that. All right, so the Homeowners Association, depending on if you're in a villa or a house, is somewhere around 375 to 425 a month. And that basically includes just the pool outside of your general area, the gates, and some of the maintenance for the common areas. If you're looking to take advantage of like the water park and some of the other pools in the neighborhood, like the pool on top of the main building here, or some of the other spa, stuff like that, you can actually have a social membership that's on top of the 425 that you're paying in Homeowners Association fees. That's gonna run roughly $400 a month. Let's say you want to have a golf membership. You're going to pay a little bit more per month on top of that social membership. Total, it's going to be somewhere around $7,500 a year on top of your homeowners association fees. But that's not it. So here's the thing. They just changed the rules last year, right before COVID, that if you don't buy a house that already has an active membership, you can't get a new membership activated until they kind of complete the rest of the neighborhood and reevaluate. So when you're looking at places in here, if having a social membership or a golf membership is important to you, you you need to find out does the current owner already have a membership that you can take over. So if you're looking to buy in Reunion, the cool thing about pricing here is that prices range from like 200,000 all the way up to 5 million. And so depending on your budget and what you're looking to do with it, your short term, long term, you want to call this your second home, you can do that and live in probably one of the best resorts we have here in Orlando. And so if you're looking to buy or sell a house here in Reunion, my team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure you reach out. My email is ken at posigroup.com. And last thing, hit that subscribe button as we're putting on new videos every single week. We'll see you guys on the next video. I had one of my clients do that to me the other day. Really? Kind, of made, kind of made me chuckle. Tell me what happened. Uh, they were like, we, we got the deal, ready? I was like, yes. <laughs>